Hi to everyone to my Facebook page. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm really excited today. And the reason I'm excited today is because I'm gonna make a beautiful dish. Gatoni with the ragu. Ragu is one of the old traditional Italian recipe. We talking about back in 1800 when the Napoleon, he was coming to Italy and uh, he was asking for the ragu, but he didn't know the name. He came out with uh, the name from French, ragu. Actually, it's a French word, and the Italian they take it, but we're talking about this is uh, from 1800 recipe. Okay, I'm gonna show a little bit the ingredients. It's very simple. I'm gonna show the way you guys are easy to make it. Okay, of course, we're gonna use some of the rigatoni pasta. It's like this kind of pasta. You find this in the store, any grocery store, rigatoni. And uh, we're gonna use hot peeled tomato right here. We're gonna use red onions, a carrot for acidity, uh, salt, some pepper, and this is bay leaves. Uh, some really good wine. It's in the glass. It's not for drinking. It's actually for cooking. This guy here is uh, chuck roast beef. Is I usually use by prime, but you can get a select or choice. And I will explain to you guys next time select and choice what the difference from prime. But I'm gonna use this guy for the ragu. Show you a little bit around. You know how we're gonna make these amazing dish. We start with the red onions grab like really good the sharp knife and uh, you're gonna slice like julienne carrots i clean the carrots and we're gonna just cut it like small remember these carrots is good for take away the acidity from the tomato it's helping a lot we're gonna work now on the chakros. If you see, I already cut some. Okay, I slice it. And uh, I forgot to tell you guys, the ragu we're gonna make today is gonna be uh, Adama style because we're gonna use a lot of onions. I'm gonna cut these chuck the chakros with these kind of pieces, like kind of cube. Keep always kind of the same kind of size shape. It's really important for uh, cook everything evening. Look, see guys that. Show you guys what I will do with these whole peeled tomato, okay? The thing is, what we wanna do, we wanna put our hands inside there. Make sure you wash your hands, okay? And I did it. But uh, you just gonna like try to squeeze. See guys, you guys have this. You try to squeeze inside here and make kind of like a pulp. We're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just kind of a little bit, a few drop. Soon as the oil is start to become hot, we're gonna add the, our uh, chakras. And as soon as we add the chakras, the first thing you wanna do is add a little bit of salt and a nice black pepper. When they reach this nice color, brown, as you guys see it, kind of the brown color, onion, okay, put that in. And now we let the cook, but the smell is so good. At this point, if you see the onion, it's got like really brown, and I hope uh, you still have the wine and you didn't drink it. Just gonna add the wine in. And let's evaporate the wine. The goal is when the wine is evaporated, we're gonna add the our tomato we smash. And so everything is sad all. I'm gonna put a cover on and let cook slow uh, cooking. 
time I'm waiting for the My Ragu is gonna be done, I'm gonna cheer for you guys. We have got a little bit of After the pasta is cooked, we're gonna add inside the sauce. You know, I start to put the sauce on top, we do the put the pasta inside the sauce. And cheese is what I love it. I love a parmesan cheese. And just kind of like mix up, saute. Make sure you don't throw into your face. A little plate. And a little bit of sauce. And a little bit more of the cheese on. This is actually the final product if you see it. And I do have my weapon for do the test. See how this stuff came out. Okay, put it down here. Oh my God, this is amazing. It's more better than what I thought, you know, actually. You guys have a see, actually, I made this dish. It was very simple. Actually, a lot of stuff you can find in the store. Let me get some little bit of this wine. You need that with the good red wine. Definitely go well with this a good dish. I suggest some good Chianti. But I will challenge anybody to make the same dish, put on my page, the picture or the video, whatever you want to do it. But uh, I'm going to say Buon Appetito to everyone.